What's up guys, this is Fortune. I am the FAA manager from Top Flight Tech and today I'll be introducing our brand new solar power GPS and that is the SolarGuy X100. So this device is especially created for safeguarding and tracking telematic structures and I'm talking cargo such as truck, trailers, containers, the list goes on. And so in this video today, I'm going to be talking about the features and functionalities, hoping to get you interested, but most of all, tell you just how this device can benefit your company. I am so excited about this device for many reasons. I mean, there's a lot of e-locks out there. There's a lot of truckers out there, but this particular device gives you a lot of applications all in one. First of all, our unit is the only GPS e-lock equipped with a solar panel on the market. That means you don't have to worry about charging time and again, and this power enables it to update frequent locations, for example, every three seconds. So let me run you through the features. The rope length is customizable. It has solar power charging that is from there big solar panel that you see in front here, giving the battery limitless power. Then the device provides real-time frequent location updates, e.g. for every three seconds, and when there is no network, it's going to buffer those messages and send them to your server whenever there is network. Well, the device gives alerts at different intervals for moving and still. For example, you can set the device to be sending uh, updates every three seconds when it's moving and when it's still you can customize it to be sending maybe once every three hours of course the device has nfc cards it comes with two cards and then on my left here is what we call the wake up card these ones are the ones that you use when you want to open the device and you just scan them in front here of course the device is going to open then the device also comes with a large rechargeable battery that is at the back here. And as you can see, the device is water, waterproof with IP67. And the device supports BLE uh, units and you can connect up to 40 BLE units. That is, for example, our top flight tech temperature and humidity center sensor uh, or the door uh, temperature and door sensor. So moving on, let me run you through the hardware details. On top here uh, is the cable, the rope, and if you flip it around, you're going to see this is the solar panel. On top of the solar panel, you see the indicating lights, and I'm going to talk about these uh, in details later in the video. So on top here, this is where you scan your NFC cards, and let me now move it behind this is where the magnet is and you might want to be careful take precautions because the magnet is very strong pitching may occur then beneath here is the standard cable port and as you can see in my hand this is the cable and it's waterproof on this box that you see is where the sim card and the configuration type c cable is and I'm going to show you how to open this later in the video as well. And pretty much that is it about the hardware. So how to use it? I'm going to tell you how to open up this device, put in the SIM card, how to lock it correctly and at the end of the day to just get it running, how to put it on your assets. First of all, we have our screwdriver. So we're going to remove the lid. This black thing that you are seeing here is the waterproof ring. This is not to allow any water leaking inside here. So we're going to insert the SIM card. Now open the SIM card plate. You're going to make sure when you're putting the SIM card that is facing the upward of the device that is where the magnet is, this is the inclined area here. Turn on the device and configuration you have to use the normal type C. This device can use any type C cable and you connect that type C from the device to the computer to, to, to configure it. This black cushion here, the black thing that you see should be the one that will be facing 
the SIM card. It should be on top of the SIM card so that it can cover it nicely so as the SIM card will not move just in case of vibration or anything. This is a SIM card support in shortly. When putting back the screws, you want to place them across the square. Then I'm going to mount the other two. Okay, so after successful putting, on, putting in of the SIM card, you now want to make sure that the device is fully charged. Although it can work uh, instantly, but you just want to make sure that it is charged to 100% before deployment. Yeah, so let me take you now to one other cool feature that is the light indication display. So, on top of the panel here, what you're going to see is four lights. The first one is the battery. Yeah. The next one is the network indicator light, then followed by the satellite indicator light, and the last one is the NFC or RFID light. So the first one basically is for battery. Whenever the battery is low, it's going to show some indication. Whenever you see a light on the battery, it's to show you that the battery is low. Other than that, let's imagine you've already put in the SIM card and you've turned on the switch. The first thing you will see is the light on the satellite and the network, just on the two here, you will see them coming on and off. That's to show you that they are searching for network. Immediately they get the network, you discover that those two lights are going to be solid to show you that they can now be connected to the server. So in my hand here are two cards. One is the unlock card, the other one is the wake up card. So you might have noticed on the device on the NFC card indicate, light indicator here, you will notice that the light is coming on and off. Why? Because I, I use the wake up card to wake the device up. So this is normally to allow the device to be in wake up mode so that the operator can send commands to the device. Maybe they want to open, you might want to open it via uh, over the air, which is OTA. Using the unlock card, when we swipe it here, you will discover that the light is solid. This is to show you that the device is open and it's waiting for you to pull out the rope. So let's pull out the rope and see what's going to happen. But before that, let me remind you, our device is designed in such a way that you open the, the rope from the left here. You will see the symbol of opening just by the left and on the right, you you have to use a lot of force to pull out from this side. Why? It's because when you pull out this rope, we don't want both of them coming out at the same time. After you pull out the cable, you will notice that this light goes off right away. Okay, so when you put it back in, you see a light that will flash. And that is to show you that the device has been locked successfully. What you see right now is an error because this cable was not inserted in correctly. So when you see the lights underneath the network, uh, the NFC and the satellite, which is the GPS, you'll find that all of them, they are solid. That's just to show you that the device has not locked correctly. So you might want to put it back in and when the error has been erased, you will see that the, all the three lights will go off. Yeah. So once we put it in, you won't see those lights and you this is one of the precautions that you have to make sure yeah so now i'm going to show you how to use the ble app to lock or activate the device first of all you have to download the app from the app store the tft e lock and it looks like this and the next thing you want to do is open it when you open it this is how it looks then you want to Click on the search bar here, it's going to, I've clicked it. Then you see the, the square box with the line in the middle there. That's just to show you that you can scan the, the device itself. So I'm, I'm gonna click on that one and scan the device. 
This is our device. So after scanning the device, you will see this page. And the first thing I want to do is work the device up by clicking on the active connect, which is the first one here. And as soon as I do that, you will notice that the device here is showing a blinking light. That's to show you that the device is ready for the command now. The next thing I want to do is click on the unlock. And once I do that, it's asking for password. And in this case, our default password is 654321. Click the password and as soon as I confirm. So after unlocking, you will notice that the lock shows that it's open. And when you pull out the rope like that and you put it back in, you will notice that on your app, the status also changes to locked. And that's it about our BLE app. Installation. So we install the GPS e-lock upside down like this. Now, someone would ask why, which takes me to the last part of this video, which is precautions. We don't want any foreign materials entering inside these walls. For example, water, uh, because when it enters inside here, it's going to make ice, which can uh, block the locking mechanism of this device. The other thing is you want to be aware of the magnet because it's very strong. So you don't want to get pinched. So just take precautions as you are mounting it, make sure you are holding all the sides of it. And don't forget upside down as we said. And the last part of last but not the least is when you are inserting the rope, just make sure that it is correctly inserted and there is no spaces in between the device and these lines here. Because if you don't insert it correctly, then you will see the error messages. In case you forget, just go back to the indicator lights that I have shown you. Make sure that the light flashes and it will tell you that the device is locked. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment or ask us any question about the device. You can also share with your friend and don't forget, at Topfly, it's the best or nothing. Salute.